In this pencast, we'll use a graph to estimate the solution of a pair of linear equations. So the problem says, graph 3x minus y equals 2 and y equals negative x plus 1 to see where they intersect. Alright, so we've already got our plane drawn and the second equation is already in y equals mx plus b form. So it would be really easy to graph these if we put them both in y equals mx plus b form. So we know y equals mx plus b form looks like this, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Alright, so what we need to do is put the first equation in this form. So the first step is going to be put equations into y equals mx plus b form. All right. So our equation says 3x minus y equals 2. So we need to get y by itself. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract 3x from both sides. When we do that, we get negative y equals 2 minus 3x. Now, we need to divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of that negative sign. And we get y is equal to 3x minus 2. Alright, so that is y equals mx plus b form. So this is called, this is uh, equation 1. So the slope of equation 1 is 3, and the y-intercept, which we'll call b, of equation 1 is equal to negative 2. Alright, so equation 2 is already in y equals mx plus b form. So it says y equals negative x plus 1. So the slope of equation 2 is negative 1, and the, the y-intercept of equation 2 is positive 1. Alright, so the second step is to graph both of these equations. So when we graph equation 1, we're going to start with the y-intercept. So since the y-intercept is negative 2, that means that our first point is going to be 0 comma negative 2. Alright, so let's go ahead and graph that. 0, negative 2 will be right down here. And our, y, or our slope is 3, which means that every time we go to the right 1, we can go up 3. So we go to the right 1 space, and then up 3 spaces. We know our next point is going to be at 1, 1. So we can connect these lines, or we connect, connect these points to make our line. All right, so our first line looks like this. You might want to use a straight edge to do this because we're going to have to estimate where these uh, lines intersect, so it's important that they're straight. So this is 3x minus y equals 2. All right, so our second graph our y-intercept is 1, so that means that we'll go to 0, go up 1, and that'll be the point 0, 1. Our slope is negative 1, which means every time we go to the right 1, we also go down 1. So our next point is going to be at 1, 0. So we can connect those two points to make our second line. So once we do that, we get something that looks like this. In this line, we can label y equals negative x plus 1. All right, so now we're looking for where these lines intersect. So we can see that these lines intersect right here. So we're going to try to figure out what the coordinates of that point is. So part so the third part is going to be find the intersection. Alright, 
So we're looking for the x and the y coordinates of that intersection point. So I would say that our x coordinate is about three quarters of the way to one. So let's call x three halves, or three fourths, sorry. Um, and our y coordinate is like a fourth of the way to one. So y is one fourth. So the intersection point is going to be three fourths, comma, one fourth. So that is where these two lines intersect, which would also be the solution um, if we wanted to find the point that both of these lines have in common.